Okay, so this whole time we have been building molecules, we've been cross-linking macromolecules and making these huge, huge assemblages, chemically huge. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to reverse the process. We're going to take a polymer that's already been made, which is polystyrene, and we're going to unravel it and turn it back into its original component. Now, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use a chemical called acetone. Acetone is actually um, the primary component of contact, or not contact lens, but uh, uh, fingernail polish remover. So if you waft it, it'll smell just like that stuff that your mom and your sisters use to clean up their fingernails. But the difference is, is that this is the straight stuff. This is 100% acetone. It is flammable, so no smoking again. But it also is going to react with the polystyrene, and it's literally going to unravel the molecules. If I pour water or hot chocolate or lemonade in here, no reaction because those are all polar molecules. This one is a nonpolar molecule, and so it has the ability to get in there and unlatch and unhook the different parts of the, uh, the, or the, the chemicals. You can see that it dissolves right away. If we pull it out, there's the whole bottom of my cup is gone, and it eats away, and you can see it's literally unhooking the molecules. They're falling apart as we play with them. And this is actually one of the ways is that they recycle styrofoam. You don't need to throw it in a landfill. You can just take it and you can recycle it. And then the styrene that is produced by, as a byproduct is actually a very hard plastic. If you ever go down to Galveston Beach in Texas and you sit along the ocean there or the Gulf of Mexico, the benches that you're sitting on are made out of recycled styrofoam. So this is something that is definitely reusable.